thought I'd do a quick video today, maybe helpful for people wanting to know about your 8.1 and all of our sensors and their location. So, uh, start out with our mass airflow sensor and air temperature sensor. There, our air intake temperature sensor, I should say. They're both located right here. Your coolant temperature sensor is right there. It's on the passenger side bank we're looking at. Uh, what else? We've got a knock sensor on this side. Let me crawl under here and show you that. Oh, okay, it's a little hard to get my camera in there, but there it is. That's a knock position sensor. And you can see it's located just under the exhaust manifold and just above the starter. That's your knock sensor. Of course, you have one on each bank, each side. All right, let's move around, see what else we can find. Okay, now here's a, a something in the oil pan. I believe it's a low oil uh, sensor, but I'm not sure it's, if it's even monitored, to tell you the truth. But I believe that's what that is. I'd like to, I need to get some clarification on, on that sensor. Okay, now we're underneath the front of the engine, driver's side. There's your camshaft position sensor. And here's a better view of the knock sensor on the, the driver's side. Right there's your knock sensor on the driver's side. So we got that covered. All right, let's go up top and see what else we can find. Oh, there's one more thing while we're under here. Is of course our oxygen sensor. We've only got the one. Well, I should say one for each bank. We don't have uh, two like some vehicles do. We just got the one on each, each bank. Okay, back on top, right down here, that's your oil pressure sensor or sending unit. And over here is your crankshaft position sending unit. Now that, sometimes I've, I've heard those will get stuck in the block and, and can't come out, especially if you're up in the north and get, deal with a lot of rust and salt. So a couple years back, I, I, pulled, I put some penetrating oil around it, soaked it, and pulled my mat, mine out just to make sure I, I could remove it and put it back without any issues. It came out pretty, pretty easy, but that might be a little maintenance thing you might want to try someday. We got that. Um, we got your, uh, also we have your manifold absolute pressure sensor. That's right here. And of course we got your throttle position sensor. Um, and of course, you know, I guess the throttle actuator ties in with it right there. Let me see if we got anything else. Well, I think that will cover most of the sensors that I can find. So that way, if you happen to get an error code and uh, it, it refers to a particular sensor, at least you have an idea of where it's at and where it's located. Might help you out someday. Anyhow, thanks for watching and have a great day.